Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. In this session, we are going to discuss the methods to find out square roots and cube roots. Friends, in this session, we are going to take the numbers who are perfect squares and perfect cubes. This session is specially designed for uh, the cat aspirants, mat aspirants and the other persons who are taking any sort of competitive examinations. Now why I am telling that we are going to take perfect squares and how will we identify them? So friends, in uh, the, for the exams I am talking about, uh, you are not directly asked whether the uh, to find out the square root and cube root of the number. It may be the part of a question. So by looking at the options, may, in most of the exams the questions are multiple choice questions. So by looking at the options, you will come to know whether the given number uh, was a perfect square or perfect cube or not. Okay, so this is these are the smart techniques to find out the square roots and cube roots. But keep one thing in mind, in this session, we are just taking um, the numbers who are perfect squares and perfect cubes. Now, to apply the, the techniques, we must uh, uh, memorize the numbers uh, and the squares up to 10. So the square of 1 is 1, square of 2 is 4, square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16, square of 5 is 25, square of 6 is 36, square of 7 is 49, square of 8 is 64, square of 9 is 81 and square of 10 is 100. This number and the square we already know. Uh, we might have learned uh, in our junior classes also. Now what is the unit digit of square of 1? That is actually 1. The unit digit of square of 2 is 4. The unit digit of the numbers ending in 3, uh, the square will end in 9. Okay. So similarly, I have mentioned the table over here. Just look at the table. And you have to observe certain things. The square of 1 and 9 both end in 1. The square of 2 and 8 both end in 4. The square of 3 and 7 both of them end in 9. The square of 4 and 6 both of them end in 6. And the square of 5 will always end in 5 in only. And the square of the numbers ending with 0 will always have 0 at their unit place. So friends, uh, let's make more observations then we'll be uh, doing the problems. I'll just read out the observations for you. If the unit digit of any number is 2 or 8, then its square will have unit digit as 4. If the unit digit of any number is 3 or 7, then its square will have unit digit as 9. If the unit digit of any number is 4 or 6, then its square will have unit digit at 6. If the unit digit of any number is 1 or 9, then its square will have unit digit as 1. If the unit digit of any number is 0, then its square will have unit digit as 0. Now friends, let's take some problems. To begin, I just take a small number. Uh, let me take 529. Whatever the number is given to you, you just give a breakup of two digits from the unit's place. So, I'll just take 29 and 5. I put a comma over here. Now, this number represents the first digit of the square root and this number 9 will represent the unit digit of the square root. Okay. Now, here we see the uh, square of 3 and square of 7. Both of them end in 9. So the unit place of this of square root of 529 will have either 3 or 7 at the units place. Isn't it friends? Now first digit that is fixed. Uh, the square of 2 is 4 and square of 3 is 9. So uh, the number should lie be, uh, the uh, this number should lie between 2 and 3 so the number if the number is 3 the minimum uh, number should be 9 over here the, the square of 3 is uh, 9 so in this case 
uh, it will be two only so the first number that is the tens digit will be two only now we have to find out whether the unit digit will be three or seven so we are clear that the uh, tens digit will be two now let's multiply two with the next number two to its next number so two into three is six okay friends and this is five which is less than six so in this case we will uh, since five is less than six will be choosing the lesser number from the choices so we'll choose three so the square root of 529 is 23 let's take another number i take one zero two four now i'm going to break the numbers splitting the numbers is uh, from last uh, from unit is it i'm making the pair of 24 and 10 okay now first of all let us find uh, the uh, tens place since it is uh, one zero the squ square root will lie between three and four so the tens is it will be definitely three because two of uh, be the tens is it as four we need at least 16 so friends at the tens is it we have we are clear about it and for the units place we have two choices as the square of 2 or 8 both of them end in 4 now as uh, in the previous case let's multiply 3 to its 4 next number so 3 into 4 is 12 and 10 is less than 12 so we'll be choosing the lesser number so 32 is the square root of 1024 let's take another number we take one six eight one now make the pairs the unit digit must be either one or nine and tens digit since 16 is there the square root will be uh, the square of 4 is 16 and the square of 5 is 25 so the uh, tens digit will be definitely 4 now 4 to its next number the 4 multiplied by its next number that is 5 4 into 5 will be 20 and 16 is less than 20 so we'll be choosing the lesser number so it's 41 so the square root of 1681 is 41 now let's take 6084 let's make the pairs 60 60 lies between the square of 7 and 8 so the 10th digit will be 7 obviously and for unit digit we have two choices 2 or 8 now multiply 7 to its next number that is 8 7 8s are 56 now this number which we are having is greater than 56 so we'll be choosing the greater number so i'll be choosing so the square root of 6084 is 78 now let's choose one more number it's 8649 okay now let's make the pairs 86 lies between the square of 9 and 10 so uh, the tens digit will be 9 obviously and for unit digit we have two choices 3 and 7 9 uh, let uh, uh, let me multiply 9 to its next number that is 10 9 tens are 90 but 86 is lesser uh, less than 90 so we'll be choosing the smaller number that is 3 so the square root of 8649 is 93 isn't it the method so simple and uh, actually it's very important uh, if you are going to take any sort of competitive examinations you don't have to worry much about it ki whether the given number is perfect square or not uh, uh, since all the exams are um, mcq pattern so you will come to know by observing at the options ki whether the given options are uh, the integers or not now i choose one more number it's four three five six let's make the pairs now uh, in this case the unit digit is 6 so we'll be having two choices for the unit digit in the square root 
digits 4 or 6 the first two digit 43 lie between uh, 43 lies between the square of 6 and 7 so the tens digit will obviously be 6 now let's multiply 6 to 7 that is 42 and 43 is greater than 42 so we'll be choosing the greater number so it's 66 so the square root of 4356 is 66 now let's take one more question over here it's 6561 making the pairs 65 lies between the squares of 8 and 9 so the tens digit will be 8 only and for the units place we have two choices either 1 and 9 now 8 into 9 is 72 and 65 is less than 72 so we'll be choosing the smaller number so the square root of 6561 is 81 Now I take one more example, 3, 4, 8, 1. Let's make the pairs. So 34 lies between the square of 5 and 6. So we'll obviously have 5 at the tens place. For the units place, we have two choices, 1 and 9. Now 5 into 6 is 30 and 34 is bigger than 30. So we'll be having the bigger number at the units place so 59 is the square root of 3481 one more problem 2304 okay now 23 lies between the squares of 4 and 5 so we obviously have 4 at the tens place for the units place we have two choices 2 and 8 now 4 into 5 is 20 and 23 is bigger than 20 so we will be taking the bigger number over here so the square root of 2304 is 48 friends i hope uh, you might have understood that the uh, method is quite easy you can practice uh, it well and so it will definitely be helpful for you in your competitive examinations okay all the best now let's learn uh, how to find out the cube root of the perfect cube numbers.